Hi guys, Sensei James here. I'm just looking to answer a couple of the questions you might have had over the course of the past week in regards to the OKF memberships I've asked you all to register for. Now, that said, the Ontario Karate Federation, also known as the OKF, is a provincial sport organization or PSO. Why is this important? It's important because being part of a PSO ensures that we have a relationship with our government, which I'll explain in just a second. However, what's really cool about the PSO is that it means we also have a relationship with the nationally recognized organization known as Karate Canada, which then goes in turn to the world organization known as the World Karate Federation. That is what's leading us, or leading karate, I should say, into the Olympics for the very first time in Tokyo 2021. Okay, this also means that we can take part in events and other things that we can go and train with provincially, nationally, internationally recognized coaches and athletes, which we can take that knowledge and understanding and apply it to our karate. So whether you're deciding to be a competitor or not, there are still those benefits. Now, going back just a little bit here, focusing on the matter at hand. Being a member of the Ontario Karate Federation as a dojo and as a person or an individual means that we have a relationship with sport ministry. From that sport ministry, we have a relationship with the government, okay? That in turn, they've been communicating back and forth to make sure that they set out the proper guidelines to ensure that everybody is safe and no one's gonna end up getting sick or getting injured or anything along those lines. Without the OKF, we do not have that relationship. Now, if somebody were to come in and inspect our dojo, by having this relationship with them, we can provide answers and guidelines and everything that we're following given to us by the organization, as well as the Waterloo Region. All right, so this is one of the main reasons why we wanna make sure that we have everyone registered, because if we do not support our organization and we do not pro provide support for the PSO, then they may not be able to continue operating, which means we lose this connection and this relationship, which I don't wanna have happen. The other reason why, and a little bit of transparency is that by having each person individually registered, it covers a little bit of insurance in case anything were to happen, which could cause the dojo to close down, which we don't want to have happen. All right. So I just want to make sure that you guys understand that. And this is why I want to have everybody registered and covered underneath the OKF before we return to the mats. That being said, this is an annual thing. So if you registered in September, you're going to have to re-register in January. Every January, these memberships need to be renewed. It's at least $53 per student, not per household, and it's good for the entire year. That in turn, it's something you have covered. So if you change your mind partway through the year and you wanna compete or you wanna attend one of the events, then you have that ability to do so. So I hope this helps answer some of that. I will provide a link and the tutorial on how to get this done. I need to make sure that every student has their memberships confirmed. So if you can forward that to me via email, that would be fantastic. And I will keep track of those memberships. Okay. Thank you so much. And we will, or I will see you guys real soon.